green and red. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another stream. Switzerland? <laughs> the, the, it was going up into the red. Oh, so I was like, oh that's a word. They're just about. being blasted. <laughs> anyway, welcome. What's up? Welcome back. Today we're playing a new game Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. I have no idea what this is about, but it looks freaking adorable. Which might mean that it's about to get pretty messed up in here. So, <laughs> you never know with these games. Uh, hey, she's super delicious. Don't hold back. Suspicious. Suspicious. Uh, do I get to know anything about the game before we start? Because I know absolutely nothing. Is there anything I should be aware of? Why is... Look, see, it's like way up here. But I can, like, just barely hear it in my headphones. Sounds fine to me, but I don't hear what they hear. So. It's very strange. Strange. We it's do It's registering apologize. as much louder than it. If, if it's, if your eardrums are bleeding, oops. A bad. <laughs> anyway, what do I, do I get to know anything about this game? This game is about syrup. Which one's that one? The green hair. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? That's all I get to know? Fine. Well, yeah. Alright! Start game! Boop! Oh, that's fun. In a peaceful town of magic users, there is a shop that only sells ordinary, non-magical candles. Okay. <laughs> Candies! Why did I say candles? <laughs> 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 Sandalwood. <laughs> uh, candies. Uh, what altar? Atelier. Atelier. Atelier sweets. It's where an alchemist does alchemy. Oh, actually. Yeah. Atelier. It almost sounds more like a name to me than a place. That'd be like naming your kid library, and I'm being like, oh, library. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting name. <laughs> Adelir. Never heard of it. Huh. An alchemist? Yeah. Cool. So, like, magic and science together. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Is this, like, a, a visual novel? Yes. So I press space. I do. The owner is known as the Candy Alchemist, a firm believer in science as the superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnificent candies in order to prove her case. But a magical surprise awaits in her basement workshop. Okay. So she's, she makes candy. Yes. Using science uh -huh. instead of using magic yes. that apparently exists in this world yes. to prove a point yes. of some kind. What? What's the point? <laughs> okay. Science. <laughs> science. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's this thing? Is there gonna be a bunch of voices that I have to do? Only a couple. Uh, okay. Candy girl. Uh, she looks very happy. So, I think... I, voices may change. I don't know how long we're going to be playing this game. I don't know how long this game goes for. But I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best. So. Good morning! How are you today? Uh, fine. I am also fine! What is it? Piss, 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 piss. Pastiel. Why is there so many eyes? Those are eyes, yes? Uh, maybe Pastiel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pastiel, can you come down here, like, now? Wait, is that not the candy girl's name? Um, I would like it if you told me your name. I could tell you mine, but I was not given one. Syrup. Passiel, hurry up! 
Oh wait, does she not know there was a magical candy girl in her basement? Yes. Ah, oh, that was the magical surprise. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty calm for a freaking living food person. <laughs> You are Syrup. It is nice, very nice to meet you. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, that's not happening. Basil, get down here already! Syrup, it is very important that we get along. You stay away from me. I want you out of my lab right now. What is it that you're holding? Uh... Was, it looked like it's candy. Would this be like eating flesh in front of a person? This is odd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. This is like, have you ever seen like Adventure Time? How there's like candy people? Uh -huh. And occasionally I think they kind of like eat them or like take bites out of them. And it's like, I don't understand this. My brain is confused. <laughs> well, it's like if someone was holding... Uh, like a, a... A burger made out of people. Not necessarily made out of people, because it's a meat different kind popsicle. of meat. So just a <laughs> Slim Jim? Yeah. I guess. Okay. How do you... How do you... Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, what makes one candy different from another candy? What makes one meat different than another meat? Consciousness? <laughs> I don't um, know. This one has consciousness, I, I the other one does not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is this going to cause me some like really weird philosophical things that I should probably just not waste time thinking about? No, okay. that's up to you. <laughs> are, you are eating it? Yep, that's the whole point of candy, to get eaten. I see. Then please eat me. What? No, you weirdo! But you have to! It is my purpose as candy. Okay. <laughs> this is like. Am, do, am I old, but that muffin? Do yeah. you remember that muffin? <laughs> muffin. <laughs> uh. Okay, are there multiple endings to this yes. game? Okay. If I just say in that case, will I eat her? Yes. Should we just... Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, you should get it over it. with, right? Oh, yes. Save. Boop. Return. Don't want to influence your decisions. Well, if it's going to be... I like to get all the bad endings first. Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah. The worst ending is eating her. <laughs> all right. In that case... Even if you're human-shaped and alive, you do look pretty delicious. Uh, did you need something for me, sir? No, I changed my mind. Go back upstairs. Oh, we have a guest. Made of candy? I'm not sharing, so don't even ask. Uh, okay. I'll just get back to work then. Good. All right. Candy girl, time to see what you're made of. Uh, your insides are pretty realistic, though it doesn't seem like your organs actually function. You're 100% magic powered, aren't you? I do not know the details of my biology. Hmm, does it hurt when I pull things out like this? No, I was de not designed to feel pain. Do you know where the parts from your body came from? Because most of this candy looks like mine, except covered in gross magic. Hey, who made you anyway? That is a secret. Sorry to intrude, but I brought you two some drinks. Oh, what are you doing? Candy biopsy. Trying to figure out which part I want to eat first. How could you, sir? You can't just eat someone. She told me to. So if I told you to eat me, would you? That's different. And no, it's not. Eat her anyway. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Listen. Pass out. Pass out? Pastel. No, whatever you want to go with. 
passed out. I've got this walking um, amalgam. Al algum? amalgam amalgam of a deli of deliciousness all laid out literally asking me to eat it so i'm going to eat it doesn't matter what she's made of i can't believe you just eat a person don't you have a heart i mean like this is a really big deal and uh, this conversation doesn't feel that big of a deal do you want me to answer that I can't, I don't think I can deal with this. This is too, it's too much. You already decided on this, haven't you? Fine, I don't want to believe it, but you turned out to be a lost cause after all. Do whatever you want. I'm leaving. Oh, this is going longer than I thought two days later. It really does take a while to eat a person's body weight and candy, huh? But all of you taste so good. I should try to make another one of you myself without magic. Of course. I wonder if I could do it. Imagine how much I could sell something like that for, too. Sarah, are we friends? Huh? Oh, what do you care? You're just candy. Oh, I see. Speaking of friends, where the heck is Pastel? Pastel. Some of his stuff is still missing and he hasn't come in since a couple of days ago now? I can't believe he's throwing such a huge fit over this. My kid is so fired. Syrup continued to eat the candy girl until she was no more. After countless attempts to create another, she was forced to give up when her store was closed down due to declining sales. Pastel never returned. Cannibal end. Candy bowl end? Yeah. Candy bell end. This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Why would you just eat someone? My my moral compass is spinning. <laughs> anyway, let's get back into it. What game? <laughs> this one. Right? Yeah. Do not eat the cute candy girl. This is the obvious option, all right? I did the other one just because curiosity's sake, but. I'm trying to remember, you might need to go part. But anyway. Oh, like when he, yeah. when he, uh, past, Pastel was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, do it. Instead of I being don't like, remember which doing one it anyway. <laughs> uh, do you think we should? Uh, whatever you want to do. I don't know which one's better. I have never played this game or seen anyone play it. Hmm. Let's go with not for now. Okay. Do not eat the cute candy girl. I don't think there's one ending that's considered like a true ending. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not eating you. Is there a problem? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Please put me in your mouth. Oh dear. <laughs> it's about time, Pastel. Pastel? I need I need confirmation. What what name are we going with? I don't know how you Which one do you think sounds better? I'd like yeah, I usually like Pastiel, but Pastiel. Pastiel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like... it's about time, Pastiel. Make her stop. I promise I taste good here. Just start with the finger. This is a problem. <laughs> this, 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 you need to talk to someone, Candy Girl. I said no. I'm not going to eat a person. It's too weird. I am not just a person. I'm candy. You said the whole point of candy is to get eaten. Hmm. Why don't you just eat her then? What? <laughs> <laughs> because she's not regular candy. I don't want to eat any magic candy that acts like it's human. If I did not act human, would you eat me? Mm, no. It's too late. I'm never eating you. Ever. Got it? No! 
Hey, don't give up. Maybe she'll change her mind one day. Pass, pass down. Pass you out. Like, whose side are you on? I'm so, I, this is mixed. I'm confused. <laughs> don't encourage her. Those are, whose side are you on anyways? I, I will not give up. I will get along with Sierra. If you want to get along so badly, stop telling me to eat you! Pestiel, do something about this. Me? Yeah. You. It's your fault she's in here. What do you mean? I know exactly where this girl came from. You do? That rotten witch made her to torment me! This is all her stupid elaborate prank. And you... Forgot to lock this place up last night, and look what happened. Oh yeah, that's probably what happened. Whoops, my apologies. I feel like it's Pastiel, everyone. Everyone, I am suspicious of Pastiel. He's sus. He's a sus guy. Suspicious. Oh, whatever. Just hurry up and get her out of here. I got work to do. Yes, the important work of eating me. I said that's not gonna happen. Syrup, you are going the wrong way! Hold on. You'll never be able to get along with her if you keep telling her what to do. Really? Yeah, can't you tell? She doesn't like it very much. You have to find out what she likes. Bastiel, I can't help but notice that this doesn't sound like you're trying to get rid of her. In fact, it sounds like the complete opposite. Alright, master! Okay, why? <laughs> I will find out what she likes. Master? Maybe she means master of the household? This is my store, not a house. If anyone's the master, it's me. Should I have not called you master, master? Um, just pass the house, fine. Master, pass the house. Uh, let's close it up. You! Quit being so friendly with my assistant, and you! I thought I told you to get her out of here! You're right, Sarah. She's not helping. She's not hurting anyone. You're forgetting that it was that witch who made her, obviously as a prank or something. Just watch. She'll start wrecking my lab any minute. I don't think she ever planned on wrecking anything, Sarah. Are you saying I'm wrong? And that she's here for some other reason? Well, I don't know. I just think... You, Candy Weirdo. Who made you? That is a secret. Figures. Why are you here, then? To get along with Sarah. See? Harmless. Shut your face. Alright. Want to know the secret to getting along with me? Yes! Stay out of my lab! But... Let's give her some space for now, okay? Okay. Why is she the only one listening to Passiel? Wait, why is she only listening to Passiel? Stupid candy weirdo. A little while later. One more batch of these and... Shoot. I need more... What is that? Tar... Tartrazine? What's that? Let us know. <laughs> <clears throat> One more batch of these and... Shoot. I need more tartrazine. I guess I'm making... Taking out a shopping break. Tartrazine. Tartrazine. So it's probably some sort of... Okay, but isn't an alchemist chemical. just a fancy way of saying like a candy maker? She no, just makes... Alchemy. What? She makes candy. But yes. Using candy. science, aka baking. <laughs> <laughs> or however I don't I don't know what you call candy making. Is it baking? Is it cooking? Is it What's that other word? Conf, conf, confectionery? Confectionery is I don't know. And I do apologize if this is a big thing within the <laughs> candy making community. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it's a lot more, I guess, heat sensitive. Though baking is kind of heat sensitive sometimes. I guess cooking is too. You can't burn stuff, simmer, and all that jazz. Science. 
edible science. Anyway, <clears throat> continue. Then every day after the cleaning is done, we take inventory. Why did we have a uniform on hand? Why did we have a uniform in her size on hand? Pastio, right? Pastio, is that what you said you prefer? Pastio, I am best. suspicious of you. Running a store sounds like a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for you, Master Pasio. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, sir. I... Uh, teaching her how to run the store. I am helping! No. No, 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 no. You were supposed to make her leave, not reveal all of our trade secrets. And why did you dress her up like that? Would you rather she kept walking around naked? She needs a uniform if she's gonna work here. She's not working here! I want to work for Sierra. Let's get along! Cut it out! What are you thinking, Passio? What if she's really was sent here as a spy so that that witch can ruin us? It's not like you're just... It's not like you're just handing her our business. What? It's like... Oh, it is like... Okay, sorry. It's like you're just handing her our business. But we could use the extra help if she doesn't... If she does turn out to be Butterscotch's spy, Ooh. I'll take full responsibility. So, can we keep her? Is that the witch in the front of the game? Yeah. Oh, she looks also cute. Everyone here is adorable! <laughs> Magic candy golems aren't pets. I said no. I will work hard to earn my stay. I'm very skilled with mental, mental, menial, menial tasks. Why is it so hard to read today? <laughs> True, she cleaned the whole place while you were down there making candy. Look around, it's spotless. Mm, she did do a good job. Looks even brighter than usual. Should I save after every like before everyone or no? That's up to you. I'm not quite sure how the branching on this works. I've never played this. I don't this visual remember. Level. It's been a very long time. Um <laughs> I guess. We might as well. How many slots do we have? A lot? By the way. I was just... I was probably nine the pages then. Oh, no. Dang! Okay. <laughs> oh, look. There's an ending list. Oh! That's convenient. Later? Click it, but you don't look. Okay. <laughs> close, everybody close their eyes. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah. No, you can Do look. I click it again? You can look. It's oh. question marked out. Oh, okay. You ate her. I can't believe you actually ate her. I didn't! <laughs> to get it out of the way. <laughs> 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 Shut up. <laughs> uh, return? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you hate her. I can't believe you hate her. Why'd you put that as an option? <laughs> you made me up. You did this to me! <laughs> uh, I still don't like it. Alright, we'll keep her. Um, Me, personally? This is a very strange situation. Mm -hmm. I, You know how I feel. About human consciousness. I'm weird and I have a whole philosophical approach to it. Well, just consciousness, not just human, I guess. But anyway! <laughs> so this is confusing for me. I would probably keep her. Because clearly she's intelligent and needs to be watched over. However, Syrup does not seem to have the same approach to consciousness as I do. And to be fair, maybe if I lived in a magical realm, who knows what my morals would be. But I feel like she would say I still don't like it, right? Yeah. So that one? Sure. Okay. I'm not hiring a spy and she's not staying here. That's final. Spying is not a friendly thing to do. Exactly. Which is why I gotta be protect proactive here. Sorry. We're taking her back to where she came from. Close up the shop and follow me. 
Master Passio, I do not understand one bit. I'm sorry, I wish I... I wish you could stay here, too. It'd certainly make things a lot easier. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh my gosh, she has a familiar? Yeah. Cool. But, again, confusing, because it's a person. <laughs> uh, do you want to be the cat person? Yeah, I'll be. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, welcome, visitors. Tell me what the... Tell the witch we have something of hers. What do we have? She's talking about you. Oh, is this a candy golem? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Looks very well made. Master will be very interested. Yeah, yeah. Just get her out here. So bossy, yeah. Hey, Master, so your old pal, the Candy Alchemist, is here with something sweet, yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Braddy Witch? Is that what it says? It's what it says. Who's in charge of this narration? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else has kind of sort of had their own names. <laughs> uh, that's probably me, huh? Yeah. What does a witch sound like? Well, also, keyword is brat. Right. <laughs> Princessy, you yeah. know, little, yeah. Uh, what? Don't lie to me. Toffee? Yeah. She'd never see. bring me anything. Honest, yeah. Come see for yourself. Well, well, well. I never thought I'd see the day where the great candy alchemist Syrah personally brings me candy. Butterscotch. Let's see. Ooh, a life-size girl-shaped candy. Looks delicious. I am relieved to hear that. I was worried I didn't look tasty since Syrah refused to eat me. It, it's alive? Where'd you get your hands on a golem like this? Quit playing dumb. I know you made her to torment and or spy on me. You think that I... <laughs> yes, well done, Candy Alchemist. You're exactly right. I made this golem myself with my incredible, powerful magic. Oh, well, Master, you can't believe you made something so sophisticated that I don't even notice it. <laughs> you shush, this is nothing. I can do even I'm higher level. <laughs> <laughs> I can do an even higher level of magic in my sleep. Does it count if you do it in a dream? Yeah. Ooh, that's not what I meant. You know it. Uh, so, are you sure you want to leave her with these two? <laughs> you know who she reminds me of. Do you remember that really rich chick in the Powerpuff Girls? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who wanted to be a Powerpuff Girl? Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of her. Wasn't her name just Princess? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to give her the candy, the girl, but again, <laughs> going down the worst, trying to get the worst routes first, I do believe that Syrup would probably hand her over. Yes. I hope there's an end soon because I want to start playing dice. <laughs> <laughs> My mind's made up. I already told you she's not staying with us. They made her, they can have her. Wait, you really brought it to give to me? Just take your candy weirdo back and leave me alone. Huh? Come on, Passio. Are we leaving? Sorry, you have to stay here. But how will I get along with Sarah? I I promised to come visit you. I'm sorry. Sweet free candy servant. How lucky for us, yeah. The next day, Pastiel checks on the candy girl. Oh, that's sad. I don't like it. 
Butterscotch has been diligently eating her away, leaving the poor golem in a miserable state. A very concerned Passio confronts Syrup about the consequences of her actions. Can't... Uh, we can't let Butterscotch keep treating her so badly. Some of her limbs are missing. She looks so sad. Not my problem. Please, Syrup. I know you love shutting people out, but I'm really worried about her. Butterscotch won't listen to me. I need your help. I'm gonna ignore him because that's the opposite of what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Don't feel like it. I don't you understand. I guess this whole thing was just a waste of time. Passio didn't return. Syrup spent a sleepless night at the front desk waiting for him to show up with the candy girl in tow to give her an earful for being so irresponsible. But that moment never came. There was no time to dwell on it either. She had a store to run. Why isn't anyone coming in? Oh, I forgot to flip the open sign. Ah, it's a cat. I see business has been slow for you today, Nya. Wanna buy some candy? Oh, no. Uh, maybe some other time. Then why are you here? Master is always wondering what you're up to, Nya. Hmm. <laughs> My assistant bailed on me, so I'm stuck doing everything he used to do. What a coincidence. We recently had a servant disappear as well. Perhaps they ran away together. Figures. You look like you could use some help, Nia. I'm fine running this place on my own. Oh, so you're closed all morning on purpose. Shut up! Why don't you hire a meow? <laughs> you can just pay me in candy. I don't mind, yeah. Uh, I'm not that desperate. <laughs> <laughs> the worst of the worst choices. <laughs> Getting it out of the way. No way. No more new hires. This is my store, and I'll manage it just fine. Well, well, in that case, I wish you the best of luck. See you around, yeah. But running the store on her own only... Wait. Own proved to be more of a challenge than Syrup expected. Her unpleasant demeanor kept customers at bay, and the less candy she sold, the more frustrated she felt. It wasn't long before... Oh, shoot. What Adelier. Would I, Adelier Sweets was forced to close down, and Syrup was left with nothing and no one. Bad end. One. Got it out of the way! <laughs> um... I guess we go. Only selling Swedish fish now. Swedish uh, fish are uh, pretty good. Why are they only selling Swedish fish now? <laughs> <laughs> Load game. This is fun. Uh, okay, so this choice we already did, right? And that leads me here. Or should I just start over again? I mean, you could whatever you want to do. I think, okay, I'll just go here and then don't eat, right? Well, then you could have moved the other one. Or do you think this one will give us a bad one? I'm trying to get the bad endings. I don't remember what the paths to the bad endings are. <laughs> uh, options? Or save? Uh, Which? This one. Okay. Bad ending one. Syrup had to run the store by herself and failed horribly. Good. There's so many endings if these are all endings. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight endings left? I think so. Do you think that each one of those where I could have changed it, though, would have led to a different ending? Possibly. Oh my gosh, we're going to be playing this game for a while. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. That was actually pretty quick. Hmm... Well, do you think we should just start here? You could also go back and try to load the other one. Go hit the... Oh. 
Oh. These? I don't know when these are, though. Well, that's the one where Toffee was like, eh, do you want to hire me? Should we see? That would probably lead to a different end, right? Yeah. Bap! Yes. Hire the cat. Fine. But I'm making you wear the uniform. Do you want the pants or the skirt? Neither, and yeah, I like my own clothes just fine. This is literally the only condition to handling the storefront. I'm not hiring you if you won't wear it. Are you sure? You look like you really need employees, yeah? Damn cat. Do whatever you want. Oh, cute! <laughs> Toffee began running the storefront, improving sales immediately. Syrup kept herself locked in the basement, steadily producing more and more candy, trying to keep up with the town's sweet tooth. And as little as a week, her shop had completely transformed into a place she no longer recognized. Oh, it's... Did you paint? <laughs> Wait. Hey, is it just me, or did the vibe up here totally change? I'm only responding to the customer's needs, yeah? Speaking of which, uh, focus group testing has shown we need to get in on the magical candy market. Nope. What? Absolutely not. The whole point of this store is that none of the candy here is made with magic. Master has already agreed to help out, so you don't need to worry about that part. Just let her take care of it, yeah? You're, talk you're taking over my store? Oh, you are finally caught on. Uh, then I'll tell you this, too. The whole reason you've been doing so well is because of magic, yeah. What do you mean? Master's been jinxing everyone to crave your sweets, so the more money we make, the more candy she gets. That's... That's just messed up. Addictive candy. Yeah. <laughs> Which... What do you believe? Magically addictive <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any boring for Master. Uh, if you don't like it, you're free to quit, yeah. You won't be entitled to any of the profits anymore, though. I don't want any of your stolen money. I'm leaving. Do so yourself, yeah. Why'd Pastiel have to abandon me like this? That traitor. Syrup left town in search of a place far removed from the magic. She resolved to spend the rest of her days in obscurity, never staying in one place very long. This ensured no one could ever get close enough to betray her again. Bad end, too. I mean, I get the whole point of this game is that I'm guessing Syrup is slowly going to learn to, like, behave and befriend people. What? This is from 2015? Ironically, this contains the least Yuri of all of my things. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> or dang! Uh, it depends. <laughs> uh, okay, load game. Can we get any others right away that we should knock out? I don't think so. Okay, so where should we pick up from? Here or here? Well, do you want to go pick up from the option to go rescue? Oh, yeah. Okay. What is that one? This one? Are we working backwards? Is this weird? Eh. This one? Or do you want to just not let her go to the... Or do you want to start from there? There's so many options and I'm getting overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> it's your choice. Uh, like I said, I don't want to influence you too much. Well, will this take us to another ending relatively quick? I don't think so. Oh. Then let's start from here. And then, if anything, we could come back around to saving her. Uh, Does that make sense? 
not make sense. Or would it be better to save her and then come back here? I don't know. I don't know. You're giving me too many choices. I'm gonna get overwhelmed. What do you think? <laughs> Let's go save her. Okay. <laughs> this one. Agree to help. Can you just take back people after you give them to other people? I hate that sentence, but like, <laughs> can you? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, if that's important, wait, if it's that important to save some lump of candy, I'll help you out. Thank you. Oh, I hate her haircut. I mean, she's cute still, but I preferred her with long hair. <laughs> Every bite I take is more and more delicious. Candy this good must be a sin. Miss mm, Butterscotch, if you continue eating that leg, soon I will not be able to walk around anymore. Hey. How rude. You didn't even wipe your feet before barging in here, yeah? Stuff it, cat. I'm taking back my golem. What?! This thing was a gift! No take backs! Take backs? What are you, three? This isn't a playground. Wait, this isn't playground rules. I changed my mind about letting you keep this golem, and now we're leaving. That's that. Syrup! Ugh, you're all sticky. Sorry for letting that witch slobber all over you. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, you know, I think you were pretty cool if you weren't for all the me stuff you did to Mastrin, yeah? Yeah, well, you guys damaged my stuff, so I guess we're even later. Oh, I can't stand her! There is still so much left to eat! She can make her own candy! Why can't... Why would she bully me like this? Maybe she only wanted to taste oh, of the golem okay. after your lips were on it. Oh. Indirect kisses, yeah? <laughs> Don't be gross, Co Toffee. I sense a enemies <laughs> to lovers plot. <laughs> My romance senses are tingling. <laughs> Syrup took the candy girl back to her workshop and began replacing all the parts Butterscotch had eaten away. It wasn't long before she was back to mint condition. They decided to leave her hair as it was after Syrup had mentioned it looked kind of cute. It's cute! I don't want people to get mad! I just like the longer hair better. <laughs> and so the golem started living with Syrup and Pastiel at the Adelier, Adelier Suites. She became a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel, jelly something? Uh, no. You'll think of something. I have faith in you, Syrup. What's going on over here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. Oh, you're naming her? I wonder what happened to candy golems aren't pets. Well, I can't just keep calling her candy weirdo. Technically, you could. No, we really should give you a proper name. How about... Gumdrop? Gumdrop! That's a nice name. I think she likes it. I think it fits the hair. Not the gumdrop one. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I knew if it was syrup, she would pick something good. What? Who are these people? I like their outfits. Are they? Are, are you gonna do them? Hello, uh, hello. The Chocolate Brothers are making their entrance. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late. <laughs> so we decided to pop in. Hello, welcome to you. Adelier. Why is it so hard for my brain? Adelier Sweets. Oh, Candy Alchemist, you're sure you've got uh, you've got sugarly golems for sale now. 
How charming. I feel odd with this. <laughs> but if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making? Unless you found a way to create life through alchemy. She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. The voices are too similar, they're blending together. <laughs> oh, mysterious! I am completely taken in with her. How. Uh, may I offer you flowers, my lady? Magic flowers? You're very good. Wait, you are very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. Haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not boss around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? It's my store. I'll do what I want. Hmm. Would you perhaps be interested in selling this one? She's quite adorable. I have so many emotions. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> what is wrong with everyone in this universe? Okay. Uh, I don't want to. Duh. But, again... I would like to get all the bad endings out of the way. That way we can end on a positive note. It's my favorite thing to do. So I guess we should save here? Sure. Boop. There's no quick save button, so why is there a quick save menu? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, and Let's technically sell story. her, but I don't like it. So how much we talking? I don't know. What's she worth to you? Depending on the number, I might be interested. Sarah, that's horrible. We just gave her a name. You're not selling her. Sarah, you wish to give me away once again? Well, these guys don't want to eat you, so there's nothing to feel bad about. Are you quite certain we like to remind you that money is no object for us. What are you, like Willy Wonka's kids or something? <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> Sorry, we need her here. What a shame. Golems are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> I have a problem <laughs> with this society. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh, no, no. It's a very high-level spell. It requires focused passion. Even our combined power couldn't result in anything close to that. Fascinating. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Sure! <laughs> sure! Okay, pass you. Sure! <laughs> I'm so vicious. Well, well, we'll just give it a go sometime then, huh? Uh, now I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? I will say, I feel like they're the kind of people who would say caramel. Caramel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have that! Allow me to assist you at the register. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she overdoes it. Whatever keeps the customers happy, though. Hey, Hasio, is it true not just any old witch could make a golem? Huh, well, you don't see very many walking around, so that sounds about right. Penny for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. She looked genuinely surprised to see Gumdrop, but it could have been an act just to throw me off. I don't know anymore. Well, like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? 
No. Ask her to tell you who her creator is. She, she won't tell me. You're my only hope, dude. Oh, I already asked when I was training her for work. No luck there. Sorry. You know, Pasiel is lucky that he lives in a world of idiots. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everybody! How is this not obvious? I'll drag it out of her some way or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of the basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Yeah, I was planning on... Supervising Gumdrop, working with you, leaving. <laughs> leaving, I feel like, would probably just put an end to it all, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll say... Leaving, and see where that takes us. Don't you think? Sure. Going out today. Would have left sooner if I hadn't gotten caught up talking to everyone. Thanks for that. Alright, enjoy the sunshine. Maybe it'll make you a little less grouchy. Don't count on it. Oh, she suddenly came out. <laughs> Toffee, what do we do? Butterscotch! Cat! What are you doing creepily lurking outside of my store? It really hurts my feelings. You don't remember my name yet. Don't dodge the question and don't try to run away! <laughs> Who's running away? This is public. This is a public road. We're, well, within our rights to loiter here. We came to see your golem, yeah? Shh, we. No, we didn't! I was just about to come in and show off something incredible I made. Get ready for something. <laughs> Get ready for some disappointment. Yet. If you only came along to sandbag me and make your stupid puns, then just go home. I'm really proud of this. Ta-da! Her name is Matilda. Yeah. See, and now we both have a delicious magical miracles. Mir no. Yeah. Miracles to do our bidding. Is that a doll? Is that just a doll of candy? You're joking, right? She may not be as big and lifelike as your gum, which I also made, but this one's got twice the charm if you ask me. She doesn't move as much either, but well. Now that you've seen the merits of Miatilta, I'm sure you can't resist the urge to trade golems with us. So that's why you're here? To get Gumdrop back? Well, too bad. She's working for me now. That's not fair! You said it yourself. I'm the one who made her. She's my thing! And you even replaced all of her parts. It's so... Wait, it's so I can enjoy them all over again. Right? Right? No. I don't want anyone eating her again. That was kind of messed up. Uh, huh? It's just candy. Listen, I'm not trading Gumdrop for your dummy candy doll. So quit hanging around here scaring off paying customers. So if we come in and make a purchase, you'll forgive us? What do you... What you do to words is unforgivable. Ouch. <laughs> Sweet Matilda, you've fallen to pieces. I guess the only what option left is to eat you and then buy some more candy. Fine, come in. Just don't try to steal Gumdrop while I'm not looking. I don't want to have to walk all the way back to your house to bring her back. Of course not. That would be candy napping, yeah. Syrup? Have they returned to taste the new limbs that you made for me? They're just buying some candy. I won't let them touch you. I... I do not like these customers. Oof. The, what's this pain in my chest? Hear her say that kind of hurts somehow. Is it a curse? 
Can she do magic too? I think what you're feeling is guilt, yeah? Looks like she really didn't appreciate you eating her up before. Didn't you say that your purpose... Oh, wait, didn't you say that was your purpose as candy, though? I only want to be eaten by syrup. <laughs> That's not fair! I'm sorry if I treated you kind of bad, but does syrup get to eat you and I can't? I'm not eating her. She's just confused, I think. And now she's traumatized because of the two of you. So hurry up and buy something so you can leave. <laughs> you just want to get rid of us. But it's fine. Whatever. Are you okay? She is not going to eat me, so I'm fine. If she hurt you, it's okay to hate her, you know. Syrup, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others. Butterscotch is the worst. Though she thinks has my she thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic. Which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candy never tastes as good as mine. She probably thinks if she eats enough of them, she'll absorb the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, I do not think that she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nicer to her. Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care anyway? I would like for Syrup to get along with everyone. Even someone who did something that hurt you? Why would you want that? Unless you're still taking orders from her? I do not understand it very well myself, but those are my feelings. Hey, don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? Master Pastiel! I do not think that Syrup trusts me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gundra. Once she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sai? We'll see. The next morning. Gundra! What are you doing in my lab? Oh! Syrup! I am organizing your bookshelf. Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for another few hours. I do not require sleep. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and... You already did, but whatever. I guess it's fine. Syrup, I have noticed a trend within the books in your personal library. Oh yeah? What's that? They are all very boring. Gee, thanks. Only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with a reference to magic. Magic? Throw it out! Wait, isn't this... Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. Yeah, yeah. See this page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The Ultimate Sweet, a legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, 100 stars. Shelf life, eternal. Those who partake in this sweet are blessed with the great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained. And you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate sweet requires both magical talent and the mastery of science, making it exceedingly difficult, if not utterly impossible, for one person to create on their own. The ultimate sweet. Is it yummy? 
only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastiel I was going to make it one day so that he could taste it. But, like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Master Pastiel wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. He probably forgot all about it by now. Sarah, we should make it! Uh, like I said, I had to give up on it. You can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can ask, um, I mean, a witch can help us? Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely! Alright, Candy Weirdo, let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet. Without magic. Good! While Master Passio eats it, you can eat me! I've said it a thousand times! I'm not eating you. Disappointment. Come on! We'll need to do some research if, before we go out gathering ingredients. Wow, this is a very, yeah, long road. <laughs> Alright, keep yeah, an eye out this... for any encyclopedias <laughs> about plants. What, are we out of time? No, oh. we can go a little longer. I just, uh, I feel like we're on the one... Are we on the right path? We're on, a, like, a true ending. Ooh. I can't remember if there is a true ending. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's these guys! Willy Wonka's kids! And Candy Alchemist! What a surprise! I've been doing so many voices. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can tell the difference. I have no idea anymore. <laughs> and you brought your new assistant. Uh, to what do we owe the pleasure? Perhaps you have come to sell your golem to us against your friend's wishes. Syrup, say that is not so. Actually, I didn't expect to run into you here, so no. You didn't expect it? Our family owns this library, dear. You ought to have known that. Certainly you lived here long enough by now. I mean, didn't the Rockefellers give a library to, like, the public? And I wouldn't expect to run into them in that library if it still There's exists. a I lot don't. of... Uh, yeah, they did a lot, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're always dilly-dallying, so if you're looking for something in particular, allow us to direct you to the proper shelves. How convenient. We need information on a certain plant, so if you could help us... Wait, if you could speed up the process, we'd appreciate that. Glad to be of assistance, Candy Alchemist. We took, we look forward to tasting whatever it is you are synthesizing. I don't know if there's gonna be enough for everyone to taste it, but okay. I don't know. It looked like a big old. It did Sunday. look like a big Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone gets one bite. <laughs> Tears come. You're good. <laughs> all of the plants in this book look so interesting. I would like to see all of them in person one day. It's got stuff from all over the world. We have to travel pretty far to see even half of these. Traveling with Syrup! We would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together! Hopefully this thing... For this thing, we won't have to go too far. Oh! This page. This is exactly what we need! Frosted... Creamilla? Creamilla. Yeah. It's not a real plant, right? No. Okay. <laughs> it looks like it's looked like some sort of vanilla plant. Yes. Uh, a rare species of vanilla orchid that oh okay that <laughs> miraculously thrives in frozen environments. Ooh, we're going to Antarctica. <laughs> Ice vanilla. This magical plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates. But its fruits can last up to three days depending on storage temperature. Because it is inexplicably 
grows from cry- chronic soil? Cryotic. Cryotic soil. So frozen dirt? Yeah. Okay. It is believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of an ancient ice goddess. That's cool! <laughs> According to this, we should be able to find it on Mount Sherbert. <laughs> is it Sherbert or Sorbet? Sorbet? <laughs> How do you know the difference between the two? I mean, they're technically the same word. Do you pronounce them the G. same way? Do you pronounce it the English or the French? Which way is proper? Don't say no! <laughs> Sherbert. Sure, sure, Sorbet. There's no second R also. Sorbet. On Mount Sorbet? Sorbet. 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 What am I saying? <laughs> Mount Sorbet. But. But. It's impossible. We definitely need magic to even have a chance at finding it. Sure, bit. So, we'll ask a witch to help us. I'm sure Miss Butterscotch would absolutely not. Then, how do you plan on to get the final ingredient? Look, it's not gonna happen. That mountain is home to a ton of monstrous beasts and it's freezing cold. I'd probably die if I went on my own. I shall accompany you, Syrup. You wouldn't be able to move in those temperatures. You're made out of candy, remember? I'll be fine if you keep me warm. Just put me in your mouth and stop. We're not going. Music stopped. <laughs> Who would ever go to such crazy extents just to make some special dessert? What well, kind of a waste of effort, if you ask me. You're right, Syrup. It, it is silly. Let's quit. Are you angry? Nope! Master Pascal! 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 I had it for a long time. Pascal. Pascal will not even know that he missed anything. It was really just a waste of time. Come, Drop. Absorbed in thought, Syrup makes her wait. Syrup takes her time returning home. It was worth it to deny her. Was it worth it to deny her friend what would surely be the most delicious treat in the world, just to hang on to her stubborn pride? She had never thought about it before. Asking a witch for help seemed impossible for a variety of reasons, but soon she might just have to. Why? What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, sorry. Where have you been all morning? Out. Fair enough. If you see Gumdrop, you could you ask her to run the register for a while? Business has been picking up, so I need the help. She isn't here? Uh, I thought she was with you. <gasps> oh, no. No, I... I might know where she went. Just keep working and don't worry about it. I'll be back. Not like I have any other choice. Oh, well. I mean, you could always quit, go on a break, you know, close the store for like an hour. <laughs> meow wow with a candy alchemist again. I need your help. You're the only people I can ask. I don't want Pastiel to know anything about this. Oh, what is it? Something serious? I need to bury a body? No. Gumdrop ran off. I think she went to Mount... Sure. <laughs> Survey. 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 I don't know why it's really hard for my brain to keep those two... Uh, is there a difference? Am I dumb? Is there a difference? There is not a difference. There, so it makes sense that I'm having a hard time <laughs> knowing which one to say. <laughs> To get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever. You guys don't need to know all the details. Oh, so that's where she was going. I saw her pass by and wondered, yeah. What? Why didn't you stop her? I greeted her, but the girl was on a mission. She barely even told me where she was padding off to. She just pointed to the mountain and said, that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you should know I have a policy. 
of never asking too you many know, questions. It was, it was fun at first, and now it's <laughs> no, it curiosity can't. only leads to trouble for folks like me. Okay. <laughs> at least that confirmed she was definitely going that direction. It is true. I wonder how far she got. Curiosity is a very bad thing for cats. <laughs> Curiosity keeps you busy. It is the spice of life. <laughs> but it's very bad for cats. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think something bad happened to her? What if she got eaten along the way? You're the one who did that to her. Oh, wh well, if it's too cold, she won't be able to move. And if she doesn't come home, Pasiel will get all upset and probably blame me for it. She wants me to make this special recipe for him, and he, if he knew she was only trying to get the last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go, well, I guess I'd blame me too. <laughs> Say no more! I'll help you find your dear sweet gumdrop. But only if you give me a taste of whatever it is you're planning on making. Let her help. This was a terrible idea. I know we should let her help. That was the whole point of this. However, I am also into getting the bad endings. So, I think we'll say no, right? Let me toss this in here. And then say this is a terrible idea, right? Yeah. Terrible idea! I suddenly don't feel like it. Maybe I'll risk going alone. <laughs> no way! I'm too invested in this idea now. You have to let me come along. Fine. I need a magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste. That's it. We'll negotiate the terms later. Let's go get your candy back. What about your cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? And you think that place is all snow and dogs can't stand the thought of it. I'm a city dweller at heart, yeah. Just wait right here for us, Coffee. We'll be back before you know it. Be safe, Nia. Ooh. Oh my gosh! I have a jacket! <laughs> I hate the cold. It's not that bad, but I guess it's different for someone who's not protected by magic. <laughs> How about I bury you in the snow to see what your magic protection does against that? Oh my dear Candy Alchemist, aren't we supposed to be partners on this little quest? You can't talk that way to a party member. Let's just get along. Ugh, not you two. Gumdrop's always insisting that she wants to get along with me. Why do I need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do my own way without any annoying people trying to befriend me? Uh, annoying? <laughs> I didn't say we should be friends. I just think it would be best if we cooperate. Fair enough. This place can be pretty dangerous. I've read there's first ferocious wolves that will gang up on you and rip you to shreds. Wolves? I, I'm not afraid of any wolves. How about a whole pack? Do you think that you could take them out with your magic? E easily! Oh, really? You're trembling. That's, that's just because of the cold! Hey, what's that ahead? Is it a wolf? A monster? Syrup? Do something! I think we found Gumdrop. Oh no! Look how determined she looks! <laughs> She's completely frozen. I wonder if she's still conscious right now. Hey! Candy idiot! I told you this would happen if you came up here! You're lucky we found you. It's a wolf girl. I don't know what kind of voice to do for a wolf. Um, as if someone was looking for her. A wolf! Butterscotch, you're being rude. I've been watching this golem for a while now, wondering if anyone would show up to fetch her. 
Huh? You live around here? We actually came to find a special plant. Do you think that you could take her to your house to thaw while we get it? I promise we won't be too long. Psst, syrup. Oh, what if she eats her? What, like you did? Th that's different! Dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. See? Nothing to worry about. This way is a lot more convenient than taking her all the way home and then having to make hike all the way back up here for one little plant. I don't mind taking her in. Seeing her frozen in place for so long was kind of sad. We don't even know who you are! Why should we trust you with something as valuable as living candy? Treat. Uh huh? It's my name. Now we're acquainted. Alright. Butterscotch, do you have any other problems or can we get going now? No, no! I'm glad that's all settled. Let's go get your rare ingredient, whatever it was, and go home! Sorry, she's more of a cat person. Syrup, right? I smell a powerful spell on that witch. Is she really okay to be up here wasting that much magic? A spell? I don't know what you're talking about. I guess if your ordinary humans can't sense that kind of thing. It's as plain as day to me. Anyways, smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return your golem later. Sure. Thanks. Can't. After receiving some directions from Treat, the pair continues up the mountain. Syrup felt at ease knowing Gumdrop was safe, but Butterscotch seemed to have be having a rough time. Things only got worse as they ran into trouble. What time is it? Should we save here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Save! Main menu. Yes. So we're on one of the vendor ending paths. Dang. There's so much to do in this game! This is fun, though. I like it. It's cute. It's cute. It's interesting. It's making me question a lot of philosophical stuff. You know. Well, in all, a solid game. <laughs> it's all treat. We did! Which I know nothing about, but kind of know about, because you are a very big fan. <laughs> But anyway, that's the end for today's stream. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series, because so far, I am. It is a very interesting <laughs> take on just like a bunch of things. Be sweet to the sweet, and you'll see something sweet. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, the next time you are going to want to come is on Friday, when I do believe we will be continuing this series. I know nothing about this game, so I don't know how much we have left. Do you? We're both kind of going into this blind. A decent amount? Okay, so we might have a few more episodes left. Very exciting, because so far this is very cute. Though it kind of weighs on my voice a little bit. <laughs> but hopefully you guys are enjoying it like i said next time you're gonna want to come is friday we do stream every monday wednesday and friday should be still consistent i don't think any holidays are coming up so those are when you're gonna want to come don't worry though if you ever miss an episode we upload all of our vods over to our youtube channel so you can always catch up there or just go over there to see what else you know we're playing um, we have a number of games over there that we don't stream, or that we streamed in the past, that you can totally check out. All of which are, like, kind of sort of similar vibes, cute, kind of weird, kind of scary, but nonetheless, very good. So, if you want to see more, go over there and check this out. If you want a sneak peek of the various games we have available over there, you can always go to our TikTok, our YouTube Shorts, or our Instagram Reels. Yes. I think that's it. Yeah. Sweet. So, like, comment, subscribe, share. Do whatever you feel like doing. We will appreciate it. Unless it's eating people. Don't do that. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.